Yoo-hoo! If any of you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, because it would really help us out a lot, because we are very close to 1k subscribers. Please help us reach our goal. It would really mean a lot to us. So please consider subscribing, leaving a like, hit that notification bell, and anyways, enjoy the video. So yeah, you're number one. Yahoo! Well, you guys are probably going to get sick and tired of this eventually. Yep, doing another video on David Zaslov. Look, this is just going to be a video I'm going to be doing on my response on David Zaslov's commencement speech during the Boston University graduation. And I'll have to say, his speech is terrible. Not only David Zaslov's speech was bad, it also proven how much of a hypocrite and how denial he is. Because David Zaslow says that he's done all of this and he had a long journey and blah 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 to build up his career and basically we should all get along and and you know has been telling the importance of human connection and blah 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 the pandemic was a you know was a horrible thing to go through we all can agree but yeah look there is something that I need to literally brought up on David Zaslow's speech. Like, okay, this is basically his speech. It's not going to get you to the promised land. To be successful at anything, you've got to do the work. You've got to commit yourself to really work hard. And finally, the fifth thing I learned along my journey is that there are a lot of big moments that will define your life. And you've got to look out for them. You've got to be ready. On the professional side, it could be a job interview or an audition, a presentation to get funding for a startup, or a chance to spend time with a giant in your field. These moments can define how people see and remember you. And you need to be prepared for them. And show up. Life is about human connection. The pandemic has forced all of us to spend a lot more time apart and on Zoom. You all spent a large portion of your time here at BU having to work remotely and taking classes online. I really believe it's critical now that we get back to working together, in person, making real human connections. It's different when you're in a room with someone. Something magic happens. Most of the good things and good opportunities in my life have come from people. People I worked side by side with every day. People I spent hours with in a conference room fixing problems. And during his speech, basically, all the graduates have literally booed at him. Every, you know, strikers, unions, and even, you know, the people at Boston have literally booed at him. David Zaslov has been literally blacklash and boycotted there. Ever since, you know, they, they allowed him to, you know, <laughs> to say his speech. And honestly, I keep questioning, why, Boston? Why did you allow this man to be a commencement speaker in the fir first place? Because do you think a man like this should be helpful to people that are trying to build their careers and, you know, and their jobs? Yeah, no. Because literally, after everything David Zaslav has done, 
Actions have speak louder than words. And if David Zaslav says that life is about human connection, yeah, David Zaslav, what about the, you know, what about the workers and the rioters you literally have fired and laid off? Yeah, literally those people, yeah, their human connections were absolutely destroyed. And even Cartoon Network has warned you not to do this because it would severely damage and destroy the relationship of these creators. But guess what? You didn't care at all. So basically, yeah, David Zaslav, you are full of yourself. This speech right here just shows how much of a hypocrite you are. And how denial you are as well. And of course, David Zaslav brought up the, you know, the pandemic. Yep. It's not like every CEO's have used that as an excuse. Like, for an example, Andy Owen, I think her name is. Okay, her she was a horrible CEO. Like, the scummiest thing she's ever done, literally she made a, you know, an apology for what she did and basically used the pandemic as an excuse just to avoid backlash and being, you know, called out for something she did. Basically, they're just using the, you know, pandemic as an excuse just to, you know, just to rob everyone's money for no reason just so they could avoid being called out and blacklash for it. And David Zaslav, if you want people to get back to working together, then maybe you should, oh I don't know, maybe you should give them more equality and actually pay them better and actually not take their money to yourselves, you greedy asshole. Like seriously, these people cannot afford their health care and a roof over their heads because of you. So you expect them just to, you know, just for a simple couple of words, and then bam, people would, you know, would go back to working with you? Oh, hell no. Literally, okay, basically, if someone would ever shoot my dog and be like, hey man, sorry about that, I just have a mental illness, that's all. So I hope you forgive me and I hope we could be best buds. Yeah, no, no, that's not how that would work, no. Because actions speak louder than words, Zaslov. If you don't see that, it just shows how much of a dimwitted moron you are. And also, basically, you basically work with people just to, you know, fix problems. Okay, David Zaslov. So, basically, what about, you know, destroying trust values and even royalties and even, you know, sinking the whole entire company's stocks and absolutely canceling and deleting every shows that people loved just because you're against scripted content. Yeah, no, no. That is not fixing anything, Zaslov. You're just adding more gasoline to the dumpster fire you started. And to top it off, the company has been in billions of debt in one month because of you. Every studio's producers and actors have lost their trust in this company because you have destroyed the trust value to this company because you let your greed and your ego get the best of you. Those graduates, they had every right to boo at you, David Zaslov. They had every right to literally call you out and say, pay your writers. Like, you don't pay your writers at all. Literally, people have been boycotting you, picketing you for the right of reasons. If you think people are going to forget about this and think that that all of this is just gonna, you know, just gonna pass by and things are gonna be, you know, be, you know, sunshine and happiness for you. No, that's not how it works. You cause the damage. And the damage is gonna keep bleeding and bleeding until it's going to affect you and your reputation. Even writers and animators and YouTubers and even actors as well and let's not forget about politics even hates David Zaslov like everybody around the world hates David Zaslov now and honestly does David Zaslov deserve it honestly yeah because I basically don't have any sympathy for this man at all because everything David Zaslov has done is just absolutely hypocritical because ever since you know a after he got booed at 
during, you know, during his commencement speech. After all of that, basically, he just went back to basically, yeah, guys, let's support the strike and all that and forget about, you know, what happened today. Yeah, like, for real. David Zaslav is being a hypocrite. This is the most hypocritical thing I've ever seen in my life. After he got booed at, he is supporting the strike, apparently. Again. After he literally said the, you know, love for working would basically, you know, stop the strike. Yeah. Bull. Shit. Zaslav. This just shows how much of a bullshitter and an in-denial moron he is. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't think before he acts. Like, for real. This just goes to show how in denial he is. Like, the memes that basically made fun of him have came true. Because David Zaslav, there's no, there's nothing that would get into this man's, you know, this man's empty head of his. Because this dude is literally talking to a brick wall at this point. But anyways, yeah, I just really don't know what to, what else to say because this is just pure stupidity right here. This is exhausting. Just like with David Zaslav defending both sides on CNN. And hell, CNN, their whole entire ratings are being plummeted right now. Because that's what David Zaslav knows best. Plumbing everything that these companies and franchises and studios have built. Seriously, David Zaslav, whoever you worked with during your past life, they must have been huge royal scumbags like you. Because all of this is not going to be helping you or your reputation. You have destroyed the company's reputation and even your reputation as well. You're only digging yourself in a deeper hole of guilt and shame. Even David Zaslow's speech is unoriginal and uninspiring. Because it's been confirmed that his speech is literally from, like, from the 1990s and 80s. So, that definitely confirms that David Zaslow, he is stuck in the past. And he doesn't know when to move on with the present day. Times have changed, Zaslov. Times have changed. And if you think that, you know, that you were, you know, you had a great life back then and blah, 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 things went to your way, yeah, it's not going to cover it, Zaslov. Nothing is going to cover it. Because unlike you back then, you get a slap on the wrist. But, but nowadays, people have to work hard to get what they are to today. But you're just making it difficult for them to, you know, to reach their goals and careers. And hell, they even said the same thing to his speech. Okay, you know, I'll play the clip right here. And what you love doing. I graduated from law school right here at BU. And I got what I thought was everything I wanted. I got a job at a big prestigious firm in New York. An apartment in New York. And I was making good money. I was feeling really great. He just, oh, I just get, he's so out of touch. Like, that's the thing. 100%. He's so out of touch and he doesn't know it. He doesn't know it. Times have changed and he th still thinks that it's like pimp my ride time. And like, you know, uh, what was the other MTV show where they would like go to people's houses and it was like, oh, look at my nice house. Cribs. Cribs. Like, that era is gone, okay? People are freaking struggling. Those college students, their future is so uncertain and so unstable. And the homeboy is like, oh, I was a lawyer and I was living the good life. I had that apartment in New York. Like, shut up. So the whole speech was like that. Uh, and it's funny you said that he was out of time because I- Out of touch. Out of touch with the times, right? Yep. Uh, you're right, he was. He did seem out of time when he said, You're out of touch, uh, you're out of touch, or time, right? Yeah. Okay, nobody saw that coming. Mm -hmm. uh, so he, notes. he's out of touch. I thought as I watched the speech, 
This is a good speech from like 1986, 1994, in that ballpark, right? This is all the graduation speeches from that era where they would come and they'd be like, well, I had this spectacular job coming out of the prestigious school I came out with this one, right? And then I got, I decided to turn it down to pursue my passion, but it turned out I got an even more spectacular job. <laughs> and then God. I got $286 million because I was so spectacular. And in the middle of it, he was telling a story and that's another point where he started getting booed about how Jack Welch, where he used to work for the legendary businessman Jack Welch, who ran GE, etc. And he's like, and Jack calls me into his office and he tells a story about office politics. Oh, okay. I think we have that video. Yeah, I think yeah, it's the next it. one. Let's and then watch. I'll show you more. If you want to be successful, you're going to have to figure out how to get along with everyone. And that includes difficult people. will be looking for a fight. But don't be the one they find it with. Focus on people's good qualities. So basically, yeah. Basically, David Zaslow's speech, literally it proves that he is denial and he is stuck in the past. And he cannot snap back into reality. So basically, yeah, David Zaslow bootlickers, I was proven right once again. David Zaslow, he's not a smart guy at all. He's just an in, in denial moron that is stuck in the past and he'll lie to get out of these situations and he is a huge hypocrite as well. So basically, yeah. Uh, how does it feel to be proven wrong again? And David Zaslov, if you truly care about human connections, then why even lay off or purge all of these creators' shows and work? that they put so much hard work and soul into in the first place. This just shows how much of a lying hypocrite you are. Because basically, yeah, basically these creators even stated that that their work and their job is like, you know, like literally, it's like a family to them. Like these workers, writers, animators, creators, they're like a family for each other. They even stated that and you're taking it away from them. So you shouldn't even be saying this, Zaslov, because this is what a lying hypocrite does. Because you, you cannot admit your wrongs, and you cannot admit what you did was stupid and horrible. You deserve to be blacklash, you deserve to be boycotted, you deserve to be called out for everything you've done, Zaslov, and especially you deserved all of those boos from those, you know, Boston University graduates, because they had every right to boo at you. Your reputation is done, Zaslov, so I would just give it up at this point, because no one trusts you, no one supports you, and no one will ever take your side ever again. And the David Zaslov bootlickers, they don't count at all. Because these David Zaslov bootlickers are actually trolls. No joke, they're actually trolls. So basically, yeah, these bootlickers, they definitely don't count. Their opinions are not valid at all, because all these kids on the internet are just trying to piss off people for no complete reason, just because they're sucking David Zaslav's dick all the time and just riding it all day long while they piss off people for no reason at all. And David Zaslav, what makes, you know, Honey Boo Boo and Diamonds and Tiaras you know, good for human connections. Tell me, how is that good for human connections at all? Like for an example, toddlers and tiaras, literally these poor kids have been literally abused and been harmed during this horrible show because these parents just use their children just for a stupid reality show. 
And Honey Boo Boo? Okay. Let's just say... Alright. I'm pretty sure just, like, one of them, like, basically one of the actors or cast, basically, had, like, a relationship with someone that had a... that had a criminal record and has done some bad stuff. Stuff that I would not want to describe because, you know, YouTube. So basically, yeah. Honey Boo Boo, Toddlers and Tiaras. If you are saying that these shows have good story writing and, you know, human connections, then you are dense as f David Zaslov. This just shows how in denial you are. You're just making crap up just for people to get back to work so people would not, you know, would not strike against you because you know you're going to lose. So I hope you lose everything, David Zaslov. I hope you lose everything you worked on, everything you built, and everything you've done will crumble into pieces. And so far, Max has not been do doing too well for, you know, for other people. I heard that it's been having some problems, and I even heard that, you know, even Max has basically gotten rid of the credit of the creators of it and all that. Yeah, it, that that is just absolutely terrible. So yeah, David Zaslov, if this is how you are gonna, you know, treat your workers and actually support human connections and, you know, expecting, you know, people to believe you and, you know, you supporting the strike is gonna work, then it's not. It is not if you keep doing this crap. People already hate you, Zaslov. I hate you. My friends hate you. Every writers, animators, artists, and, you know, show creators and politicians, they hate you. So, enough is enough. Like, for real, we shouldn't be trusting David Zaslov. Because I don't trust him at all. And not a lot of people trust him at all either because he's a hypocrite. That's just trying his best to, you know, to calm the situation down that he started. Because he doesn't want to, you know, negotiate at all. And you know what, David Zaslov? You know what I would rather trust? I'd rather trust a magic talking dog that has the ability to time travel and knows the cure to cancer then trust your dumb ass. There are even some people that are happy that these writers were defunded. These assholes who are basically against woke culture. And I really hate saying this word because these type of people are literally toxic Karens when it comes to woke culture culture because the whole entire woke culture is absolutely getting out of hand because the more these people keep abusing this term so many goddamn times i swear to god like for real woke is literally you know is the less of our problems you know there are literally corporate bastards and literally corporate meddling that's becoming a bigger issue and a bigger problem you know and you're just here like, uh, yeah, I don't support them because I am against woke. So, yeah, if, if you go woke, you go broke. Wee, 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 wee. Like, seriously, I absolutely hate it when people keep abusing the term woke whenever, you know, stuff like this happens. Like, seriously, if you don't like it, then don't watch it, okay? It's that easy. These writers are literally suffering and you are just absolutely, you know, wishing, you know, wishing that their lives would be a living hell because basically you don't like what they're doing or what they make. Well, guess what, assholes? Literally, they do this because, you know, because they are hired by companies and corporations. So it's not their fault. It's literally their jobs, you dumb pieces of shit. I'm sorry if I'm getting really mad or pissed off. Literally... It really annoys me how much of a dimwit morons these people are and how dense they are. These people have no sympathy for others at all. Seriously, people that keep abusing the term woke, they are out of touch with reality, just like David Zaslov. And people saying that David Zaslov's a hero because basically, you know, because he's supporting anti-woke. No, no, that's not the case, you dumb piece of shits. 
Literally, David Zaslav is doing this just to save, you know, a couple, you know, bucks and pennies in his pockets. That's all. Literally, this is corporate meddling. Because David Zaslav's against scripted content. He's not doing this because he's against woke. He is doing this because, basically, yeah, he just really wants to keep the money to himself. Because all these people's paychecks are going to him. And you people are just celebrating this because you're in denial pieces of shit that are heartless as fuck because you have no lives at all because you have no rights to do this because this is bullshit. Like, literally, you all are just celebrating this because because you feel offended for what these, you know, creators do for some odd reason. If you want to know what real woke is, and I really hate using that term, but I'm going to use this term to, you know, to give you the biggest middle finger to your faces. Like, what about Velma, Gotham Knights, and Honey Boo Boo, Toddlers and Tiaras, a list of god-awful shows like these that David Zaslav approves. People are against David Zaslav because he makes the stupidest decisions in his life. And we want a company that literally treats their workers and these shows fairly and give them better payments because they work very hard on these shows. And hell, even the voice actor of Bugs Bunny is supporting the strike as well. So yeah, who's woke now, people? So yeah, whenever these people abuse the word woke, I hope they get a stroke. And I'm really sorry, guys. This is just me venting because I am absolutely tired and sick of these type of people being on the internet and being offended by the littlest of things and ignoring the biggest problems that are happening around the world. Like it's no big deal. Seriously, these people need to go the f*** back to college or high school or anything like that because these people right here... They, they, they clearly have no future at all. Just like David Zaslav. Because he definitely wasted his education. Because he is out of touch with reality. So basically, yeah. That's just what I think about this. This whole entire, you know, speech. And even the, you know, the whole entire controversy. And even, you know, even these people that keep abusing the term woke. It's just absolutely getting out of hand. So yeah, this is my thoughts about David Zaslav's speech. It's bad, it's terrible, it's unoriginal, and uninspiring as well. Because it, it literally proves how denial David Zaslav is and how out of touch he is as well. And this is my message to all the people that keep abusing the term woke. Go f*** yourselves and get a life and grow the hell up.